we're having breakfast. All right, another great breakfast here. This is the Double Tree Hilton in Bucharest, Romania. Scrambled eggs, assorted crudite, and ham, meat, cheese, things like that. Pan au chocolat, toast, fruit, coffee, espresso, juice, water. The standard. Well, I've made it here to the first sightseeing stop of the day. This is the Romanian Athenium. And you can see it is a very impressive structure. Definitely a beautiful building, kind of in an ancient Greek style with these great columns out front. Beautiful building. Reminds me a bit of that Parthenon in Italy. So this is one of the city's major performance halls. I believe it's primarily used for opera and theater. Very beautiful. It is definitely a sweltering day outside. It's about 34, 35 degrees with zero wind. So I'm soaking up a ton of heat today. But yeah, the Romanian Athenium. You can see this statue out front. This is a statue It says, Mihail Amanesco. Not sure who that is, but I'll look it up. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna get a little bit wider of a vantage point. I'm gonna go down to that end of the park uh, to see it in all its glory with its dome on the very top. Definitely one of the highlights here in Bucharest. I was kind of skeptical at first, thinking it was just a building, but I tell you, it is stunning. The level of detail, especially on the dome, so many different reliefs on this, sculptures, pretty incredible structure. So pretty beautiful grounds, even on a hot summer day. It reminds me of my years in Kansas. It's so hot today. It's gotta be pushing 37 degrees or so with the extra effect of the humidity. So it is pretty disgusting outside. So I got a little bit of a late start today. I'm still not quite sure what the next step is after Bucharest. So I have a lot of options. I can go to Bulgaria. I can go to Constanta, which is the seaside resort town here in Romania. Or I could fly to Greece for a couple of days. I could go to Moldova for a couple of days. I got a lot of ideas, but I tell you, they take a long time to research and actually put together. So. Uh, I'm kind of my own worst enemy on this trip because I'm actually losing time seeing amazing sights like this as I kind of go through the well what if what if what if scenarios so putting that to rest for today for now I'm gonna try to stick to my sightseeing circuit here today and really soak up the sights of Bucharest this afternoon as I explore Romania's capital so my goal right now is to say goodbye to the Romanian Athenium really impressive building there and I'm gonna be heading down towards Old Town Bucharest, which is about 500 meters to a kilometer away. And then from there, I'm gonna to try to get down to the parliament. The only thing that's not on my side today is the heat. So I don't wanna overexert myself on a day like today, but we'll see how I do here. I'm just getting started. So as long as I can get to a nice cold cafe there and relax and recharge and then continue, I should be okay. Anyway, here we go. Absolutely beautiful historic architecture here so far in Romania and I've literally walked one block. Definitely a good sign. Bucharest is definitely a walkable beautiful city so far. I feel completely safe and secure here as well. Yeah, it's really hard to go wrong here so far. I've not found one thing that I cannot say good about the city so far so everybody seems to be chill. There's no beggars or vagrants or anything else. People are on their best behavior and there's some amazing architecture pretty well on every street corner here.
So this square pays tribute to those who lost their lives in the uprising against the communist regime in 1989 that led to the fall and ultimately the execution of Ceausescu. So yeah, it's important to realize that Romania was under a communist dictatorship up until, you know, just over 30 years ago at this point, 32 years ago. Crazy. This spire with the kind of bird's nest thing on the top is the memorial to those who lost their lives in the revolution. So you can see all the names of the victims in the uprising of 1989. So Ceausescu was executed on Christmas day of 89. Yeah, all these young people stood up against the oppressive regime. And on here you can see the various elements of the monument. So the Pyramid of Victory, the Reminiscence Wall, the Victory Path, and the Recollection Square. So this is the Baserica Kretzelescu, or the Kretzelescu Basilica, in other words. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But it is a brick Orthodox church built in 1788. So very old structure right here. All right, I'm continuing my way down towards the old town of Bucharest, which is coming up actually pretty fast here. I believe it's at the end of the street there, where you can see an invisible view here. So it is very walkable and actually really enjoyable. There's a lot of sights along the way, so you can pace out your stops. Definitely a city of contrasts, though, with so many different architectural styles reflecting the different regimes and periods of rule here in Romania. And just when you thought the city couldn't get any weirder, Art Deco architecture is now popping up. So very random indeed. So Bucharest is called the Paris of Eastern Europe. Yeah, tons of new modern architecture alongside architecture that really does reflect the 1800s and 1900s for the most part. I remember a friend of mine about 15 years ago warned me never to come here. He said it was one of the most ugly, boring, depressing cities they've ever been to. And how wrong could they be? Even this little theater here. I mean, I'm walking randomly down the street and look what I'm finding. Just incredible architecture pretty much everywhere. Kamal Ataturk, so the leader of Turkey. The first leader of Turkey. I'm not sure why that's here, but beautiful little fountain with the Odeon Theater right here. So I'm not quite sure of the history behind this Odeon Theater, but I mean, it's not as impressive as the other theater we just saw, but definitely impressive just to have a you know, theater with a fountain in front of it randomly on a street corner in the downtown core. You don't even really need to look all that deeply. I mean, it's right in front of your face. I think the key to enjoying Bucharest is shedding those preconceptions. If you come in here thinking it's going to be a crap city, you know, a one of the most poor cities in Europe, drab, depressing, communist, and all the other cliches that are attached to it. Well, you'll probably find that if you look for it, but Take the time, have an open mind, and really try to enjoy the city, and you will find there's plenty to see and do here. So this is the old quarter where you'll see most of the old architecture in the city. A lot of alleyways with eateries and so forth. I smell shisha in there. 
Yeah, it should be interesting. Maybe I'll poke around and see what I can find down here. So this is the Basilica Zlatari, I think it's pronounced. Another Romanian Orthodox church. This one has some unique red brick accents and the Romanian style domes, tower domes on the top. So this incredible building is actually a bank. It is the CEC Bank Palace, built between 1897 and 1900 as the Central Bank of Romania. It's in the Beaux Arts style, a very eclectic style, with a lot of interesting reliefs and sculptures on the facade. I need to cool down. I gotta go find a drink at this point. I am parched. So you can get lost down any street here and find something pretty beautiful. So I'm walking down this nondescript road and stumbled upon this beautiful little basilica, Romanian Orthodox Church, with these really beautiful old paintings, religious icons. So this is called the Stavropolis Monastery. And it is definitely intricate. Lots of fine detail, carved columns, and beautiful frescoes and other religious imagery on the facade. So this is where I was smelling all that shisha. But yeah, this is one of the covered alleyways here. Beautiful arcade in the center of Bucharest. So I believe this is called Maca Street. Nice cooled mist. But yeah, it definitely smells like shisha. It reminds me of the Middle East. Like an outdoor cafe in Oman or Kuwait when I was there. Beautiful. And it looks like they have a covered domed roof up here as you exit. So here's another impressive bank. This is the National Bank of Romania. Pretty grand. It looks very French in style. This does seem like it would be perfectly in place in Paris. It's getting a little bit more touristy now that I'm getting kind of deep into the center of the old town where all the hotels are. But uh, manageable, tolerable. All right, so just settled into the Cara Subire. So it's pretty inexpensive, actually. The beers are about nine Romanian way, so about two dollars and fifty cents U.S. for uh, three quarters of a pint, I guess it would be three hundred ml. I think I got that right. So I'll try their house beer. See how it is. decent. Pretty clean Pilsner. Well, I am by no means a lightweight, but I'm definitely feeling that. So pretty strong beer here at the Karu Subere beer cart. Well, from here, I'm going to head over to the Orion Coffee Shop, which is just up the road, and it's rated the best cafe in Bucharest. So I can't wait to check that out. Hopefully the reviews will stand and it'll be as good as people say it is. I think it's coming up right here on the right. Hi, how are you? Trying out the long black. This was 10 Romanian lei, or about two euros 25. Mm, nice and fruity. So this is their Colombian variety, so it's a bit on the fruitier side. It's really good. All right, after a good cup of coffee, a really good cup of coffee, they definitely know what they're doing at Arrigo. The quality of the drinks were pretty indisputable. So definitely check out Arrigo Cafe if you're a coffee lover. 
the next time you find yourself here in Bucharest. So golden hour is upon us now. Beautiful images of Bucharest. So I'm heading down now south towards the river, passing through the last little bit of old town here. Again, here's the CNC Bank Palace. I believe that's a museum or yes, the National Museum of Romania. So I'm leaving Old Town Bucharest behind and entering the modern core of the city. Just a few blocks from here is the Palace of the Parliament, the old dictatorial palace of Ceausescu. And the small river here that divides the old town from the new town. I'm approaching the Palace of Parliament now in Constitution Square, which is pretty much the heart of Bucharest. Of course, I can't, uh, I can't arrange a tour of the Parliament right now. It's 6.30 p.m. at this point. Well, this is it, the Palace of Parliament. It is almost entirely backlit right now with the setting sun in the west. So I will be back here tomorrow morning when the sun is in the east to try to get some great views of the building for now. I'm going to start heading back towards my hotel, but I'm going to walk down Uniri Boulevard, which is this massive boulevard. Almost reminds me of the French boulevards that come off of the Arc de Triomphe, but it goes down for, you know, kilometers, basically. It's almost like the Champs-Élysées in Paris. Long boulevard heading directly to the mall, the Uniri Mall, which is about a kilometer away, and then my hotel is uh, just off of this boulevard, about two and a half kilometers further down the road, so probably won't walk it all, but get a sense of it at least. <laughs> Too bad that the parliament is backlit right now, but it is what it is. I'll be back tomorrow morning. And this very busy intersection, I would say, is probably the city's busiest, and this is Oniri Plaza. You can see the fountains up ahead, where I'm headed to right now, and the large Oniri Mall is on the other side, where I'll go cool off for a little bit. It is still 35 degrees outside at 7 o'clock in the evening, so it's a very warm day here in Bucharest. It is definitely nice to be out here with all these fountains. It's extremely warm outside today. And these fountains are basically almost turning to gas right away by the looks of it. A lot of this is just steam coming up. But definitely refreshing on a hot day. All right, I'm checking out the Uniri Mall. I'm gonna find some dinner in here and then walk back to the hotel. It's about a kilometer and a half still to get back to the Double Tree, but uh, Still enough hours in the day that I'd like to see more of the city by foot. So we definitely don't have this in North America, the KFC coffee corner. If you're looking to come to a chicken restaurant for a cup of coffee, you'll find it here. I've made it back here to the Double Tree by Hilton, Uniri Square here in Bucharest. That's it for me for tonight. See you in the morning to tour the Palace of Parliament.